Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. Look, thieves use your trash to get credit cards in your name. But ID Police permanently prints a unique encryption graphic that makes it impossible to read through. Name and address? Blocked. Credit card number? Blocked. Now they're all safe to toss in the trash. Even your medical information is safe with the ID Police. Order now and get your ID Police for only $9.99. But wait! Due to rising costs and supply chain shortages, now may be your last chance to get ID Police at this low price. There is a strict limit of two ID Police per order while supplies last. Don't wait. Call now. Call 1-800-743-1102 or visit GetIDPolice.com. Order now. Are those pillows making you toss and turn? Do you wake up tired and achy? Now you can sleep well all night long with the Contour Swan, ergonomically designed to cradle you from head to toe as it aligns your spine for the best night's sleep of your life. Look, the Contour Swan's unique orthopedic shape supports your back, shoulders, head, neck, arms, hips, knees, ankles, and feet as it hugs you in total comfort so you won't toss and turn. And unlike ordinary pillows, the Contour Swan aligns your head and neck perfectly with a huggable area that takes pressure off your shoulders and arms. And it prevents your kneecaps from touching for soothing relief in your lower back, legs, and feet. Sleeping with all those pillows, my back hurts. But with the Contour Swan, I'm able to get in one spot. When I wake up in the morning, I feel great. This Contour Swan has changed our lives. We're getting a restful sleep, and best yet, my husband doesn't snore anymore. My snoring disappeared. I wake up, I'm rested, I have a full night's sleep. It's fantastic. Plus, Contour Swan is hypoallergenic and will keep you cool all night long. And it fits any body shape in any sleep position. So stop tossing and turning. This body pillow costs over $119, but now, on this exclusive offer, the Contour Swan can be yours for two easy payments of only $29.99. Plus, you'll receive this washable mesh cover, so it stays clean and fresh. Imagine, you get the Contour Swan and washable cover for the low price on your screen. We'll even ship it for free, so don't delay. Sleep well all night and order the Contour Swan today. Call now, 1-800-709-5259. 1-800-709-5259. Again, that's 1-800-709-5259. Dinner al fresco. All worries forgotten. Broken fridge with food that is rotten. Birthday cake for everyone. This blown fuse is no fun. Getting him to brush is no longer a chore. The sink is overflowing onto the floor. Luckily, American Home Shield is there to fix or replace covered parts of appliances and home systems to help you stay on course and budget. Protect what you don't expect. Sign up today at AHS.com. Christmas Day begins at noon, including the special all-cast, and continues all day long on ESPN and ABC. There are four stories left, and they're all bestsellers. The Wolverines are looking to finish the job, while the Tide are out to reclaim the title. The Huskies are taking aim at the crown, while Texas is finally back. Only one will write their name in the history books. Geico Holiday Hoops at the Nike Tournament of Champions. Good evening from Mason Long on ESPN and ABC. There are four stories left, and they're all bestsellers. The Wolverines are looking to finish the job. While the Tide are out to reclaim the title. The Huskies are
You're watching Geico Holiday Hoops at the Nike Tournament of Champions. Good evening from Mesa, Arizona, where it is time for the premier matchup of the weekend. It's the Archbishop Mini Monarchs taking on the Long Island Lutheran Crusaders. It was an absolute battle for both these teams to make it through the Vince Canizzaro division just to get here. Huge semifinal matchups. Long Island Lutheran taking down Bishop McNamara, Archbishop Mitty taking down Crestwood Prep. Now these two teams ready to go toe to toe here on the desert. Appreciate you being with us and welcome into the broadcast booth alongside former college basketball coach Helen Williams. I'm Kylan Mills. This is the matchup everyone has been waiting for. Both of these teams loaded with blue chip prospects. What are you watching for in tonight's matchup? Well, I'm just looking for This is a precursor to a matchup on the next level between Kay Cabal and Morgan Telly. So it's going to be really exciting. A look at some of the prospects to keep an eye on in this one because both these teams, as I mentioned, absolutely loaded. Archbishop Mitty, led by Morgan Shelley, 18th in the class of 2024, committed to going to powerhouse UConn. And then she's just a sophomore, but McKenna Velichko has absolutely exploded onto the scene. What makes her such a special player? Well, just a versatile skill set. She's got hot. She can jump. Very athletic, very skilled player. And then obviously Morgan on the second, on the next level, I think is going to be very, very, uh, have a huge impact at UConn. For the Crusaders, it's hard to really pick out one or two players to spotlight because they have an entire list. Kaylee Heckel committed to going to USC, Silas Swords, Kate Koval, Shia Hawkins, Savannah Swords, also Silas Swords' younger sister, a player to keep an eye on who's not on this list. Pick your poison if you're the opponent, right? Yeah, I mean, you've got a problem if you're playing uh, Lutheran now. You've got, obviously, Kate going to Notre Dame, Swords going to Michigan, Heckle USC, and then uh, Hawkins going to Syracuse. So their core is very, very talented. Very talented and very experienced. You look at that list of seniors who are leading this Long Island Lutheran team. Something that head coach Christina Rady mentioned is that this team is so much more mature than one season ago. They now feel like they're ready to step in to this type of stage and not just compete, but win a title here in the Nike Tournament of Champions. Well, they had some unfinished business last year in the national championship, so they want to make sure that they can get back there and only by playing this level of basketball will you be able to do that. Quick basket for Archbishop Mitty on the board first in the black uniforms. Crusaders. Keep an eye on that quick pace. Lauren Swan, the senior, won't go. Put back, not there either. Now this is going to be a fast paced game. We've got some very skilled players here off the dribble. Caught up there in the lane is Chelly. That one's short. Offensive board. Cook. Good defense here in this first possession by Lutheran. Al Bramer, one of the seniors on this midi roster, Lehigh commit. That one won't go. Crusaders the rebound. Now they push. Tough shot. Won't go. Swords. Taken away. Pushing is Mitty. Wiseman. No. Whistle blows on that last possession. How about the pace here early in this game? both the Monarchs and Crusaders as there is a player on the ground, a real quick injury, a brief pause in play here in the title matchup. Very unfortunate to see. Savannah Swords there on the ground. Long Island Lutheran, sophomore forward out of Sudbury, Ontario. Not yet committed, but has a number of interest. 13th ranked five-star recruit out of the class of 2026. Long, athletic, last season averaged more than nine points per game on 36% shooting from beyond the arc. And she will limp off the floor. Unfortunate to see in the early moments of this one. Yeah, she's obviously a... a 
the younger part of that core, but very important to Lutheran. I feel like you're going to be saying five star and <laughs> top of the top of the rankings uh, a lot tonight. Transition opportunity up and in. Corval runs the floor really well, makes a beeline just straight down the pipe whenever they're in transition, and they look for her. Of all the five-star Notre Dame commit out of the Ukraine. Had her family in the building last year to watch the Nike Tournament of Champions. Something really special for her as that one falls. Mitty takes the 4-2 lead. That one's stolen away. Monarchs pushing off glass. See there the athleticism of Galitzko off the dribble. Foul called here. Shot not off. All coming in off the baseline. First team foul. Three is short. Board brought in. That three too strong. Wiseman the rebound. Good Pitch luck. ahead pass. Now here come the Crusaders pushing again. A lot of pace here early in this game. Oh, what a finish from Heckel. A beautiful Euro step there with the fake. Pass over the top, just reeled in. Cross court. Three falls for Emma Cook. Emma Cook is one of those players that Coach Phillips is looking to really contribute today here. We've got one player that's uh, out right now, obviously, with Swords. They're going to need her to step up. Foul called there down low as Caval was trying to go back up. Here's the heck on the drive here. A little fake Euro step. I think they kind of like that. And a nice little cross-court pass there. Good vision. Sinks the first one. The ball and Naismith Girls Basketball Player of the Year trophy watch list was the 2022-23 New York Girls Basketball Gatorade Player of the Year. Mentioned fifth ranks in the 2024 class. Last season averaged more than 15 points and nearly 12 rebounds per game in addition to nearly three and a half blocks. Getting it done on both ends for this Crusaders team. Swishes in Morgan Shelley from beyond the arc. Just a great job there, being patient, moving the basketball, and taking the shot that they were given. As you see, they have a nice drive by Swan. What a response from Lauren Swan. The 10 points, four assists in Long Island Lutheran's first round win. She's a player that her coach mentioned maybe doesn't get all the attention she deserves because there are so many of those five-star, four-star recruits on this roster, but has been critical to this team in a number of ways. Well, I just think she had nothing but a piece of praise for her in terms of her development and buying into the culture of Lutheran since she's gotten there. Pretty drive from Swords. That's the well, elder Swords. So she can score or she can set up her teammates. And she'll do whatever is necessary. Silo Swords, another Naismith Girls Basketball Player of the Year trophy watch list candidate. Ryan Lutheran with two on that list. Spinning in the lane, rising up. Felichko gets it to go. Oh, just a versatile skill set. She can score from mid range. She can shoot from three. She has good, such good jumping ability. She can just shoot over people. Felichko really taking the high school basketball team, basketball scene by storm in her first season. Max Preps Freshman of the Year, Cal High Sports Freshman of the Year, first team All-State in her first season on this MIDI team. Corner three from Swan. Just a great job when they can get her hitting three-pointers and scoring. 
that's really beneficial for Lutheran because she's not one that they normally go to in terms of looking. She's normally setting up people, but she picks her spots. Swan also dealt with injuries that kept her out last season. That one falls for Chelly. Very fast pace here on both ends of the floor. Yeah, both these teams really pushing and getting it up ahead fast. Swan dealt with quite a few injuries last season. Nice pass inside. No. Good to see Swartz back out there. Anna Swartz after going back to the bench, landing awkwardly. Transition chance, spinning, no. More fast pace here. This time the Crusader is able to get back defensively. Just over two to go here in quarter number one. Archbishop Mitty up by three. In what has been an absolute back and forth battle. Really fast pace here in the early going. And that's what you would expect from the teams that are as talented as these two. Seven on the shot clock. Breaking through here is James. Gets caught up. One on the shot clock, no. Shot off in time, Mitty gets another chance with the O board. Well, that's unfortunate because that was a great defensive sequence there by Lutheran. Shelly swishes one in. She will do whatever is necessary for her team to win. If it's to score, she scores. If it's to defend, she will defend. Luther now looking for the response foul called. Archbishop Mitty with the late first quarter lead, 19-13 the score. The Geico Holiday Hoops at the Nike Tournament of Champions is brought to you by Geico. It's easy to Geico. I'm about to show you how we make a shakaroni pizza. Bust it. Stretch out that fresh We dough. create a shakaroni my way. More, more, An extra large more, pizza topped with extra cheese and extra pepperoni. And right now, for a limited time, get free delivery with a minimum purchase. Only at Papa John's. We're done. What about these? Looks right. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge and is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Why do I choose to sleep on my smart bed? Because my smart bed helps me boost recovery by adjusting to any move I make. That's why 80% of NFL players choose the sleep number smart bed. That is definitely him. Dude, that's Jessica taking a little break with a peppermint frosty. I'm going in. What? Hello. I got something, right? Yeah, that's real. And now get 20% off in the Wendy's app when you include a Frosty. T-Pain, Jay Yang, only one of you can be our spokesperson. So let's see what you got. Oh yeah, Hello Fresh makes it easy. And they got endless recipes. Our customers save big. What would you do with the extra cash? A sweet lime green car, of course. Right. Are you adventurous in the kitchen? How's this for adventurous? Nah, man. You gotta get with HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com yeah. to claim this offer. The annual NBA on Christmas Day tradition continues with five star-studded games on ESPN and ABC. Bucks Knicks starts the day at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Then it's Warriors Nuggets, Celtics Lakers, Sixers Heat, and Mavs Suns caps the night. Every year, some of the association's best matchups. Basically, hop on the couch, park it, NBA basketball all day long after you're done opening gifts on Christmas Day. And then you can grab some dinner, throw in a nice meal as well. Dinner, lunch, snack. <laughs> throw them all Second in there. dinner, second snack. What are you eating for your dinner on Christmas Day? Uh, well, you know, I'm vegan, so I have to eat a little bit differently than, than most folks, but uh, I make it work. Fair enough. Well, these teams, before they get to take their holiday break, going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in what was a fast-paced first quarter of the Tournament of Champions title game. It's top-ranked Long Island Lutheran taking on Archbishop Mitty. According to the ESPN rankings, the number one team going up against the number seven in the country. You Long watch. Island Lutheran coming in at 9-0 on the season. Mitty coming in at 6-0. So one of these teams' perfect record is going to be ruined tonight. Which one will it be? 
Also, these two teams did meet in the Tournament of Champions last year, and it was Long Island Lutheran that came out on top. So Archbishop Mitty, maybe with a little bit of a score to settle, but Coach Sue Phillips mentioned this is a very different team than it was a season ago. Very different team, and you know, her concern, obviously, with Long Island Lutheran was their veteran presence and their, uh, you know, just their depth is something that they're going to have to deal with all game, and you see that here. So far, Mitty, three for four from beyond the arc. Rolls out. Swords pushing ahead to Swan. And there's where Lutheran Heights really good. Just getting the ball down fast after defensive rebounds in transition, getting right into their offense. Swartz knocks down the triple. So dangerous on the drive, on the three-point shot. Silas Swords, University of Michigan commits. The highest ever recruit for Michigan basketball, 11th ranked in her class. Notched her first career triple-double, 17 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and win over Lake Highland Prep earlier this month. Three-pointer rattles out from Wiseman. Put back goes. Belichko response. He's just a tough kid. Just one of the things I was most impressed about. We asked, uh, you know, Coach Phillips about her. Like, what? We know she's a good basketball player, but what else can you tell us about her? And she mentioned that she learned the entire playbook in three months as a freshman. Incredible. So that's saying something. Five to go here in quarter number one. Monarchs looking for the last shot. Won't get the roll just before the buzzer. A battle so far in quarter number one. Back and forth action. Tons of pace. Archbishop Mitty and Long Island Lutheran going toe to toe here in the Tournament of Champions. I'll have the avocado toast, minus the avocado. So, toast. Yeah. Everything is so expensive these days. Hey, Chevy gets it. That's why they're keeping prices down to earth, like on the most affordable EV in America. A super strong and capable Chevy truck. And a high-tech Chevy SUV. And bills, but thieves steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. Look, thieves use your trash to get credit cards in your name. But ID Police permanently prints a unique encryption graphic that makes it impossible to read through. Name and address? Blocked. Credit card number? Blocked. Now they're all safe to toss in the trash. Even your medical information is safe with the ID Police. Order now and get your ID Police for only $9.99. But wait! Due to rising costs and supply chain shortages, now may be your last chance to get ID Police at this low price. There is a strict limit of two ID Police per order while supplies last. Don't wait. Call now. Call 1-800-743-1102 or visit GetIDPolice.com. Order now. A two-point ball game between Archbishop Mitty and Long Island Lutheran ahead of quarter number two. So much to talk about with this coaching matchup. Long Island Lutheran head coach Christina Rady, an alumni, was the 2023 Naismith Coach of the Year after guiding Long Island Lutheran to a 20-2 record last season. Eight of those wins coming against teams ranked in the top 25. And then head coach Sue Phillips in her 31st season leading Archbishop Mitty also attended Archbishop Mitty, also an alum leading her school, and she just, well, it was just announced that she will be inducted into the 2024 Women's Basketball Hall of Fame as a three-pointer is made for Long Island Lutheran, ball out of play on the other end. But a huge accomplishment for Coach Phillips. Just so special to see a coach have a 30-plus year tenure at the school that she attended. What is it about Archbishop Mitty that has kept her around so long? Well, she just, she loves the community. It's a, you know, a school that did a lot for her in terms of helping her grow. And her main objective, she said, is, you know, we don't, uh, we don't build jump shots. We build leaders. We build strong, competitive women. And, uh, you know, she and Coach Reddy both were pretty good back in their college days. They both were on scholarship for basketball. And that is the fourth three-pointer, if I'm correct, from Swan. She's doing a great job. They're just leaving her open, and if you got to guard somebody, they're choosing to leave her open, and she's making them pay. 
Lauren Swan with the triple, responding to a Bramer shot on the other end from Mitty. So back and forth battle here. Long Island Lutheran back on top. Up and in and one for Alana Wiseman. And she's a kid that's tough and physical and can take the contact and still score. Going to be a great pickup for Bucknell next year. Bucknell commit plays for Jason Kidd Select. Average 19 points and 11 rebounds at Burlingame High School before joining Arch Archbishop Mitty. Was a first team all league selection there just two years ago. They wanted to elevate her game, wanted to put herself up against the best players in the country, so joined this Archbishop Mitty program. Scramble on the floor. And this is definitely a tournament that will test you and let you know just how good you are. Mitty now with a chance to extend the lead here. Layin won't fall. A little bit about the Nike Tournament of Champions. Showcases 120 elite squads from across the country. The Vince Canizzaro division specifically, the best 16 in this category, all pretty much almost all ranked teams. Once again, the final tonight, the top and seventh ranked teams according to ESPN. Three is offline there. But this is event, this event is a great mid-season test for these programs that want to move on to pursue a consensus national title. Where are you at? What's the litmus test? How do you stack up against these teams from across the country? Pretty three there from Swan. She is on fire. She's on fire, but what I really love about that play is that was a cross-court left-handed pass by Swartz on the move and just hit her right in the pocket so she could go up for that shot. Mitty now trailing by two, looking to regain the lead. Nice pass. Wiseman missed, though. Swan here pushing. Beautiful pass. She is playing a great all-around game today. Savannah Swords and Lauren Swan fired up. Long Island Lutheran up 30-26 here in quarter number two. Well, Lauren Swan is on fire, hitting five three-pointers. Somebody forgot to tell them to guard her. <laughs> Some people just know that's not gonna fit. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. That's not gonna fit. What's that? You need another four inches. Do you work here? Nope. I just saw you there and I thought I'd save you the trouble. Nana. She's a human measuring tape, and she knows Allstate is the right fit for her. It's not going to fit. That's not going to fit. What? Steven. Some people just know. Well played. Well played, my friend. Those are the people who know you're in good hands with Allstate. Hi. You might know me from my other job, but I'm a business owner, too. Here at Once Upon a Farm, we chose the new Capital One Venture X business card. With no preset spending limit, our purchasing power adapts to meet our business needs. Love it. And unlimited double miles means we earn more too. Sweet, right? And when we travel, we get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. I could get used to this. The Capital One Venture X Business Card. What's in your wallet? The Sonic Footlong Chili Cheese Coney is now just $1.99. That's right, only $1.99 for your favorite Coney with warm chili and melty cheese. The math may not be mathing, but the chili is definitely chili. Sonic Footlong Quarter Pound Chili Cheese Coney. <laughs> honey. Honey. NyQuil Severe Honey. Powerful cold and flu relief with a dreamy honey taste. NyQuil Honey. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, honeylicious, best sleep with a cold medicine. Welcome back. It's been the Lauren Swan Show here early on in this finals matchup. Is there anything she hasn't done at this point? No, just hitting three-pointers, driving, playing good defense. Nice little steps back there. I didn't see that first time we saw it. Beautiful cross-court pass by Swords. And, you know, that's great for them because every, we talked about the four core players, if you will, uh, for Lutheran High at the beginning of the broadcast. And she's brought something that I know uh, Coach Rady's really been looking for this entire season just to make Lutheran even that much harder to guard. Long Island Lutheran won the 2022 Vincent Canizzaro division 
by the way, looking to repeat the first school to ever do so at the Nike Tournament of Champions since modern day, won three in a row in the Joe Smith division from 2012 to 2014. So that would be a huge accomplishment for this Crusaders group to be able to go back to back with the competition level at this tournament. A beautiful counter move there. Put back, won't go. Bramer fighting for the board. Chelly gets it to go. Just never stops working. Swan now back out with it. Bramer is saying, okay, a little bit more attention to her on these possessions now. Good execution there. Good pace, offense by Lutheran. Just couldn't finish it with the shot. Swords couldn't get it to go. Savannah Swords. Pitch ahead pass. Velichko puts it in. The, the McKenna Velichko just outstanding. Averaging nearly 25 points per game coming into this and nearly eight rebounds. And well, there you just see an example. They just threw it up there and <laughs> she just went and got it. Uh, it had two people trying to compete with her for that basketball. Velichko averaged a double-double of 20-plus points and 10 rebounds per game, leading her school in the West Catholic Athletic League. A member of the 2023 USA Basketball Women's U16 national team started all six games, averaged nearly 12 points and 10 rebounds per game, and helping USA to a 6-0 record and gold medal at the 2023 FIBA America's U16 Championships brings in that international experience. It's helped to refine her game. And there's an and one chance for Heckle. Well, she just does a, a great job of having just change of pace and hesitation move here. Just reading and then a burst of speed at the last minute, taking the contact to score. Heckle's had some outstanding games this season with the Capital Invitational MVP earlier in the year. Another Naismith Girls Basketball Player of the Year trophy watch list individual. He's named the MVP at the Nike Tournament of Champions last season for a team high 22 points including 17 in the second half of the final. Elbow jumper falls for Bramer. This is back and forth. This game is going to come down to the small things and discipline and execution for each team. Four plus to go here in quarter number two. McCarthy gets inside. Yeah, Coach Phil playing some kids that don't normally get a whole lot of playing time. You got McCarthy, you got James, both contributing here early in the first half for, for Mitty. The freshman here on McCarthy does already have an offer from Tulsa, Vallejo, California native. Expect to see her develop as that shot won't go. Plays AAU for Jason Kidd Select. Foul called. Great to see, though, a freshman getting an opportunity in this type of environment. Huge for development to be able to play at this level at such a young age, right? Yeah, it's, this is not like it's a 20 point lead. Like, she's in at a, a crucial time for Archbishop Mitty. Carthy. A shifty guard with a tight handle, according to some scouting reports. Maybe here with a chance to extend the lead. Driving is Shelly, no. Put back, not there. Crusaders the rebound, trying to get it out. Swan slows it down, entry pass. Off iron. On arch rebound. Deep pitch ahead pass to Bramer. A nice kick out. Three rivals out. Still Tierra McCarthy with that strong drive and then finding the pass out, showing good maturity, decision making for a freshman. This type of situation, under three to go here. Foul called. Two point ball game. Archbishop Mitty on top by two. Wiseman called for her second foul. Crusaders get it under the basket. Go, 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 go. 
First shot won't fall. Rebound, Monarchs. Over the top pass, Belichko down low. See them going to Belichko every time on the break. She runs the floor really well, and they look for her. First one just rattles out. Tomorrow night, only one NBA game on the ESPN schedule, and it's a West Coast primetime matchup. Steph and the Warriors host Kyle Kuzma and the Wizards, who are finishing up a four-game West Coast trip. And Jordan Poole makes his return to the Chase Center. Coverage begins at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Lauren Swan with that step back, channeling a little bit of Steph Curry with some of her moves there on, on a couple of those three-pointers. Crusaders now throw it away. Transition for the Monarchs. Shelly, nice dish. Shelly doing a good job the last few times down the floor, handling the basketball on the break, finding the open person. Under two to go. Ball falls for Heckle. She's deceptive in her speed with the basketball. Last season, Heckle averaged nearly 15 points per game, was named the Max Preps New York Player of the Year. Foul called here. El Bramer called for her first. Crusaders basketball. Heckle, a great up-tempo guard. Really good at setting the offense and Figuring out whether or not she needs to score, give the ball to someone else. Jones too strong. Trying to run down the O-board, but it goes out. Coach Brady going a little bit farther down that bench than I've seen her earlier in the year. Along with Jones and with Stacey. With this tournament playing four consecutive days, how important is having the depth because of the volume of games in such a short period of time? Yeah, you definitely want to have bodies. Where you have to be judicious is, you know, depending on who's in there and the talent level and, and their development, figuring out the right time to play certain people. Well, let's go off glass. Man, she has looked so good. Does not play like she's a sophomore when you see the decision making. Nice pass. Tough finish from Swords. Good to see her from what we thought was sprained ankle there. Did a good job flying around, making things happen on defense and offense. Foul called on the other end, Savannah Swords, younger sister of Silas Swords, also on this roster. 13th ranked recruit, five star in the class of 2026. Still has come up with some big performances quietly, according to her coach. She's another one that maybe doesn't get talked about as much as the seniors, the five star prospects, but she's coming up and going to be a major player moving forward. And 19 points, eight boards in their quarterfinal win over Hebron Christian. Is that one short? Foul called on the rebound. When you have a a core as strong as Lutheran High does. You've got to figure out. Sometimes kids have to figure out what their niche is and where they fit in. And that's obviously a, a big part of, of coaching, too, for Coach Brady is to win, win and where to play these players because she's going to need them to develop throughout the season. Going to the line on the other end here is Morgan Shelley. When you look at both of these teams, there are a number of players that also have international experience. Savannah Swords being one of them, made her debut for Canada at the 2023 FIBA Americas Women's U16 Championship played in Mexico. They finished second. She had a team high 22 points in 32 minutes, plus four rebounds, one steal in the final. How does that international experience translate to being able to compete at this level in the United States? Well, I think you, you have to adjust to a different type of basketball, right, in terms of um, how they play and how you adjust your IQ in terms of playing against their defense, 
They have different philosophies over there. It's, it's called a little bit differently, sometimes a little bit more physical. And uh, the more reps you can get, the better. And we talked earlier in the first game about this Canadian connection that uh, there's a lot of good players coming out of Canada. They're going to be playing at the next level. Strong finish with four to go. Long Island Lutheran cuts the deficit to three. Last second chance short. And half number one officially in the books. Archbishop Mitty up 42-39. It is the final of the Nike Tournament of Champions. And this matchup has not disappointed. At the halftime break, Archbishop Mitty up three. Why do I choose to sleep on my smart bed? Because my smart bed helps me boost recovery by adjusting to any move I make. That's why 80% of NFL players choose the sleep number smart bed. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting it- A pretzel it bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. All flights have been grounded. Heavy storms are rolling in from the north. I had to escape. The city was sticky and cool. I drove all night. The distance is nothing when home means everything. Get 5.9% financing for 72 months on the 2023 Grand Wagon Year and Grand Wagon Year Series 2. Search new inventory and locate a dealer near you at wagonyear.com. Next season on Fansville by Dr. Pepper. What's happening, Sheriff? It's a transfer portal. It's out of control. We're losing our defense. No, not our starting quarterback. We need him. You can't leave. Our offense revolves around you. Give me your other hand. That's what Dr. Pepper is. It's okay. I understand. You can't let go of your Dr. Pepper. Absolutely not. Quarterbacks are replaceable. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Your chain's off. We can fix it now, and you're done. Done. We fixed this toilet. We fixed this toilet on video. Okay. Open the front door. Hmm. Introducing Front Door. Download today to video chat an expert. Capital One knows there's no games like bowl games. Capital One Bowl Media on the ESPN Networks and ABC. Merry Christmas! Christmas Day begins at noon, including the special all-cast, and continues all day long on ESPN and ABC. Welcome back. It is halftime right now between Archbishop Mitty and Long Island Lutheran here on the desert. Earlier tonight, very exciting, right here on ESPNU, Montverde Academy forward Vivian Iuchuku made her official college announcement. Let's take a listen. Vivian, great to see you. Appreciate you joining us. Before we get to your big announcement, I want to Thank ask you. you, what has the process been like for you as you have been searching and looking through different colleges? Uh, it's definitely been just a lot of like ups and downs. It's really like a roller coaster. Um, but like I have the right people by me to guide me and like show me like what's good and what's not. And like really just came down to the playing style and like the family of, of whatever team that I'm about to be announcing. So it's really just like the family piece that I really like appreciated. So that's really what led to the ultimate decision. A lot of schools in the mix, Arizona, Florida, Georgia. Now it's your time. Where are you going to college? Well, first of all, you know, I like to thank my family, even though they couldn't be here today. I have a different one uh, and a very special one. And I just want to thank them because they've really just guided me and helped me get to where I am. Secondly, I want to thank the coaches that have really helped me in this process from Boo Man to Special and Coach Shu. They've really just guided me and they've really built me to the player that I am today. And lastly, I want to thank God, right? Because without him, I'm nothing. And he's really just helped me and definitely taken. He's just, he's just helped me and he's helped me grow in many different ways. And so without further ado, I will be committing. <laughs> to the university up. 
Southern California. <laughs> oh, hold on, guys. <laughs> Go Trojans. It's go Trojans. Okay, Oof. and it's stuck, guys. So that's great. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, Vivian, this was a culmination of a uh, this was a culmination of a long process. Can you tell us what the separator was um, that helped you decide that USC was where you belong? Uh, it was really just the family piece, like I said. I mean, Coach Lindsay's just an amazing person. I could really see her being just such a big part of my development and in basketball, so, you know, the family part and just the team was so welcoming. I just feel like it was the right place. It was just, I felt it when I got on campus and just kept feeling it to this day, so, spite on. All right, well, Vivian, congratulations. So excited to see all that you're going to accomplish. And your brother, Vincent, goes to USC as well, so great that you're going to have some family clothes. Yes, he does. Awesome, yes, well, thanks so much Thank for you. the time. Congratulations. Thank you. USC getting a good one. Congratulations to Vivian. More coming up here from Mesa after a quick break. This guy again. Pops. Hey, son. You got a little something on your face. You needed a quick shave. Quick shave? Respect the process. It ain't my dad's razor, dad. It's from Gillette Labs. Gillette Labs? Gillette's ultimate shaving experience. This green bar releases trapped hairs from my face. Game changer. While the flex, this contours to it. Looking smooth. Feeling even smoother. How about hooking me up with some Gillette Labs? Check your text. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Nah, you're the best. The best a man can get keeps getting better. The next generation of shaving is Gillette Labs. Jimmy, my man up there, we are not going to stop chasing the dream of raising dollars in your dream. Jimmy's dream was to beat cancer. You look up not giving up in the dictionary. A picture of my wife will be there. You're one of the strong ones, okay? <laughs> Just remember that. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. The NHL on ESPN Plus. Knowing where the season's biggest events can be seen. Means knowing you'll never miss one. Knowing where you live doesn't control what you watch. Means always seeing your team in action. Knowing you have access to 50 exclusive NHL games. Means knowing your plans for the next six months. Oilers Rangers, Friday at 7.30 on ESPN Plus. You don't know who I am. You can push through anything as long as you believe. Our family calls Alex the Phoenix. He always rises from the ash. Paterno never faced any charges, but he didn't escape judgment. Who has like a career defining moment at 37? The whole country is watching and the world is watching. This time of year sparks the imagination of everyone, young and old. This holiday season, it's time to do something with your idea. Have a confidential meeting with one of our nationwide representatives. Over 10,000 patents have been secured through InventHelp's patent referral services. The InventHelp data bank includes thousands of companies who have agreed to review new ideas. This holiday season, why not do something for yourself? Go to InventHelp.com now or call 8447-INVENT for your free information. Welcome back to Legacy Sports Park in Mesa, Arizona. Halftime in this heavyweight title fight. 42-39 Archbishop Mitty leads Long Island Lutheran. Second half action and a winner will be crowned on the other side. That is definitely him. Dude, that's just a guy taking a little break with a peppermint frosty. I gotta ask him. Hello. Hi. Mind if I sit? Okay. And now get 20% off in the Wendy's app when you include a frosty. I'll have the avocado toast minus the avocado. So, toast. Yeah. Everything is so expensive these days. Hey, Chevy gets it. That's why they're keeping prices down to earth, like on the most affordable EV in America. A super strong and capable Chevy truck. And a high-tech Chevy SUV. Why is Chevy making affordable vehicles connected by OnStar? It's so together, we can do more. Hi, 
You might know me from my other job, but I'm a business owner too. Here at Once Upon a Farm, we chose the new Capital One Venture X business card. With no preset spending limit, our purchasing power adapts to meet our business needs. Love it. And unlimited double miles means we earn more too. Sweet, right? And when we travel, we get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. I could get used to this. The Capital One Venture X business card. What's in your wallet? I'm about to show you how we make a shakaroni pizza. Bust it. Stretch out that fresh We dough. create a shakaroni my way. More, more, An extra large more, pizza more. topped with extra cheese and extra pepperoni. And right now, for a limited time, get free delivery with a minimum purchase. Only at Papa John's. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. This holiday season is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Visit Plexiderm Try. You're watching Geico Holiday Hoops at the Nike Tournament of Champions. The title game underway here at the half. It has been an absolute battle between Archbishop Mitty and Long Island Lutheran. It's the Monarchs that have the three-point lead here at the halftime break. This was a back-and-forth battle, though very surprising. Long Island Lutheran led by Lauren Swan with 14. McKenna Volichko leading the way for Archbishop Mitty. She also had 14. Kylan Mills and Helen Williams here with you. Appreciate you being with us. Going into the second half, you pointed out the depth is going to be key for both of these teams. What is it that's going to make the difference here down the stretch? Well, the difference is going to be the experience of that depth. Long Island Lutheran depth is very experienced They're older. Um, they've got more production from their bench than Archbishop Mitty. And so if you're Archbishop Mitty, obviously you want to try to get some production out of that. But that's going to be the difference, the experience level of both benches. So keep an eye on those players coming in and how they're able to impact the game. Now let's get to the first half stats brought to you by Geico. Archbishop Mitty shooting 50%, Long Island Lutheran not far behind that. Three for five from beyond the arc versus five for nine. Anything from this stat list jump out to you? Well, what jumps out is just how similar and how close the stats are, and that's where it's going to be really important, the experience level down the stretch, um, you know, in terms of execution, in terms of implementation of what both teams want to do. And then we talked about this off camera. I mean, these teams have played quite a few games in, in, you know, in a short amount of time, and, and will that show up in the fourth quarter? Archbishop Mitty in their semifinal matchup against Crestwood Prep, it was Morgan Shelley, McKenna Velichko, and Alana Wiseman who each poured in 20 points, 60 of the team's 69 points scored by three players. You'd have to imagine a performance like that would take a lot out of those three individuals specifically. So possibly why maybe they're getting a little bit more rest or going deeper in the bench here early on in this title matchup. Don't get the roll of Lichko. Hot though, 14 points in the first half. I really think that Luther needs to get Koval involved more. You see them go purposely in there for her because she didn't really score in that first half. She had a few shots and she missed a couple close bunnies, but really they need to get her going. Koval, an all-tournament team selection last year at the Nike Tournament of Champions. A very quiet first half, but immediately get things, gets things going here in the third quarter for the Crusaders. Step back. Rattles out. Ball batted away. Here comes Heckle. Pitch ahead pass just touched out of play. Heckle, the type of up-tempo point guard that uh, Coach Lindsey Gottlieb at USC is really excited to get next year. Just really knows how to push the pace. USC team so fun to watch. Juju Watkins, one of the most electric freshmen in the country. USC ranked throughout the season. Turnaround not there. Heckler going to be an exciting piece to add into that mix. Midi here only up by one. Jumper rattles out. Saw a lot of pace early on in the first quarter. Will it be the same here at the start of half? Number two, denial though. Savannah Swords was there. She went on both ends of the floor, has the ability with her athleticism, and now you can see her taking the three-point shot as well. Put back, goes in. Morgan Shelley right there to clean up the mess. The 
Paul kicks out, swung. It's too strong. Well, four possessions and three out of those four possessions are going straight to Koval. Lane for Cook. Emma Cook plays for the San Jose Cagers Blue, which is coached by head coach Sue Phillips. A number of players on this MIDI team play together, which also helps with the chemistry piece. You play in high school together, you play AAU ball together. Something to keep an eye on with this Monarchs team. Winner rattles out. Belichko can't get the put back. Heckel pushing, nice move. Heckel belaying. There again is that hesitation. Change of pace move, handling the basketball. Heckel's ability to keep that under control while moving at that pace, so impressive. Swan the rebound. Heckel says, I'll do it again. Scored a team by 22 points, including 17 in the second half of the final last year against the Hoya Country Day School. He's a player who knows how to step up in these types of moments. Almost a steal. Bramer denied. <laughs> and, then she, and then she told her about her. Well, Heckel doing a great job of pushing the pace. Nice little hesitation. Had the defender stand up. Had a really strong end of the first half and beginning of the second quarter here, getting to the basket. Scramble on the floor now. Foul call. She can do it on both ends here. Almost a near steal, previous possession, and then a little extracurricular there. That will help lead this school to the national runner-up finish a season ago as just a junior. I mentioned she was the Max Preps New York Player of the Year. One point ball game here. Late in quarter number three. McCarthy back in the game, foul called. Echo frustrated because she wanted that block. She may have gotten a little bit of, uh, of the body there, but McCarthy getting some extra minutes here in the second half. Let's see if she got her a little bit with the body. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with her. But McCarthy getting extra time here. We talked about that depth. And playing a little bit more than she has in the past and really doing a good job here. Being aggressive on offense, playing defense. McCarthy also runs track. So you can see some of those quicks on display here on the basketball court. That one rattles out. She gets it back. Ball on the ground. Players diving for it. Still up for grabs, jump ball. Long Island Lutheran battling in this one. They trail by two late here in quarter number three. This one's gonna come down to the wire. More third quarter action ahead. On an emotional fans felt by Dr. Pepper. You know, Dad, Becky and I are getting pretty serious. Ah, oh, she's a great girl, CJ. Dad, we started watching college football together. You like college football? Well, Becky opened my eyes to the complexities of the sport, the West Coast offense, the triple option. Wildcat formation? Oh, I love the Wildcat. I knew you were a late bloomer. Hey, I, I even started growing pain on my chest. My boy's becoming a fan! Catch, babe! Oh! That was right to you. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Sometimes your work shirt needs to be for more than just work. Like when it needs to be a big, soft shoulder to cry on which is why Downey does more to make clothes softer, fresher, and better. Downey, breathe life into your laundry. Some people just know what road to take. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. The service road is faster. Turn left. 
Not happening. He knows better than any GPS, and he'd point you in Allstate's direction. Go all the way down the road, past the big gray warehouse. Take the next exit. You're not from around here, so you don't know the back roads. I don't want to be late for the party. I'm going to save us five minutes. Some people just know what road to take. You're on the fastest route. Those are the people who know safe drivers save 40% with Allstate. Welcome to the Sonic Burgerverse. Burgerverse! It's like a universe, but with two new cheeseburgers. So cheesy. Bold hickory barbecue, Tangy. garlic butter bacon, it's back. the possibilities are infinite. The new cheeseburger lineup at Sonic. Third quarter action underway and it's been Kaylee Heckle who stepped up for the Crusaders. Yeah, well she was very active at the end of the first half and the beginning of the second half getting to the basket using a change of pace move. Has the ability to play up tempo which is going to be great for the Southern Cal team when she gets there next year. She's can score, she can distribute the basketball, she knows how to put her teammates in a great position to score. Vivian Uchuku just committed tonight, adding to that very exciting and strong freshman class coming in for USC, gonna be join, joining Kaylee Heckel, 28th ranked recruit in the class of 2024. Something that Coach Rady mentioned about Kaylee Heckel, she transferred in from Port Chester High School where she averaged 40 points her game. She said one question mark is, well, how's she going to adjust coming into a team that's loaded with stars where she's not going to have the basketball as much? And she pointed out she's super unselfish. Has that stood out to you about her play? Yeah, and I think she's very smart about when to do what, whether it's to pass or whether to score. Um, and obviously very talented and just a really good decision maker. Like she, you know, when you play point guard, especially at the level she's going to play, you have to be a really good decision maker. Heckel made the right decision there, 15 points after getting that last one off glass. And Lutheran here coming out in the 2-3 zone as opposed to that player to player they've been playing the entire game. Ball out of play down there in the corner. You see here on offense, they do a really good job. Everybody touches the basketball. Good movement, getting a defense to move, and then a nice little assist there by Koval because they've been going to her here in this beginning of the th in the third quarter, and so she's going to get more attention. And that's going to get other people open. It's really impressive the way they're able to get the defense to shift with that quick ball movement. Sudden sh suddenly, she was wide open there under the basket. And the ball moves quicker when you pass rather than when you dribble. Swan tries to go up in traffic. Well, nice use of the pivot foot there. Schwartz couldn't get the turnaround. Raymer, nice pass inside, denied. Foul called. Let's see the ball, ball can't believe it. Yeah, I would have <laughs> the same reaction there. <laughs> That's a tough one. Averaged three and a half blocks per game a season ago as the first free throw goes in. She's still shaking her head. Can't believe she didn't get that one. Moved to the U.S. back in 2021. Another thing about Kate Koval is that she used to do ballet, and she said that that has helped her with her footwork. Her footwork looks really, really good to me for a player her size, 6'5". Well, and I, I think it's, you know, the work that she puts in, she wants to be great. And so that's a lot of reps that you see right there. It's, it's, it looks easy, but that's a lot of hard work. Swan from the corner rattles out. Swan was a big piece in that first half, hitting five threes for Long Island Lutheran. Jumper rattles out. Heckle with a big pass ahead. Swan off glass. They do such a good job of getting the ball down the court, but if you look at Cobalt, her running straight down the pipe there, that's that's what made that happen. She runs really, really hard on every possession. Short. Second chance, won't go. Ball out of play. Crusaders basketball tied up at 49 apiece. That 
just an offensive uh, transition here. Unselfish, Koval giving the pass to Swan, but that doesn't happen if she doesn't run the floor. Heckle draws the contact. Two things stand out to me here in this uh, in this quarter. Heckle being more um, aggressive offensively and then them focusing a little bit more on getting the Cobalt, getting Cobalt the basketball. Heckle now going to the line. The annual NBA on Christmas Day tradition continues with five star-studded games on ESPN and ABC. Bucks Knicks starts the day at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Then it's Warriors Nuggets, Celtics Lakers, Sixers Heat, and Mavs Suns caps the night. Every year, some of the association's best matchups. So this zone has slowed Archbishop Mitty down, Archbishop Mitty down a little bit. Battle for the rebound. Duvall just ripping that one away, but it's a jump ball. We've got an offensive rebounds, Archbishop Mitty, but they haven't been able to capitalize on those. Possession arrow keeps the ball with the Monarchs. A couple of putback chances that just rattled out. Turnaround's pretty. Bell Kramer, another player who slides under the radar maybe with this Monarchs team and how loaded they are. But making some nice contributions in this game. Well, I know her coaches at Lehigh are excited to get her next year. Lehigh commit. Only got to play 14 games. Big response though, huge three-pointer. I've not heard from Swords in a while, so good for Lutheran. Under a minute to go. Bramer caught up in the lane. This guy with a little travel there. Shelly now with it, about an 18-second shot clock to game clock differential here at the end of quarter number three. Nice feed. Bramer trying to go up. So normally in the zone, you have the little pockets where you're going to be open, but then you got Colville coming to clean it up there. You think you're open, but you see here, nice little fadeaway, though, there by, by Bramer. Seven on the shot clock. Two on the shot clock. Last chance opportunity denied. Shot clock violation. Fifteen to go. Long Island Lutheran looking to keep that momentum going into quarter number four. Heckle over the top. The ball can't hang on. Swan for three. Couldn't get it to go just as that third quarter buzzer expires. Long Island Lutheran on top by three, 54-51. This has been a back and forth battle all night long. Getting Kate Kovall involved, going to be a key for the Crusaders going forward. Build the pool yourself. What could go wrong? Some things are better left to a professional. It dried so fast. Like when it comes to finding financial advisors. Mom! So leave it to Smart Asset to find them for you. Take the free quiz at smartasset.com. Then you'll be matched with up to three vetted fiduciary financial advisors. To get started, take the advisor match quiz now at smartasset.com. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legercise Pro. 
the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug free way. After using Lasercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Lasercise Pros patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Tomorrow night, only one NBA game on the ESPN schedule, and it's a West Coast primetime matchup. Steph and the Warriors host Kyle Kuzma and the Wizards, who are finishing up a four-game West Coast trip. And Jordan Poole makes his return to the Chase Center. Coverage begins at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. A great battle underway here in the desert. It was Archbishop Mitty who had the three-point lead at the halftime break. Now at the end of quarter number three, it's Long Island Lutheran on top by three. What was the key for the Crusaders in that third quarter? I just think that the change in their defense, they went to a 2-3 zone. And, you know, a 2-3 zone, you normally get somebody at that free throw line or, or uh, mid-range, mid-post, and you can easily get shots off there. But then you have Kate Koval <laughs> right there, so it's not as easy. With the 6-5 there in that gap, and uh, Heckles come alive, driving to the basket, distributing the basketball, and then originally, at the beginning of the third quarter, they went to Koval a lot, and I think that's something that opens up their offense when they're able to get her the basketball. Heckle coming alive, definitely a key on the offensive end. She leads the Crusaders with 17 points. Getting late here in the shot clock, though. Koval can't get it. Putback is there. She missed that shot, but again, it was a good opportunity. Oh, nice pass on the break. Bramer gets the end one opportunity. Getting Lutheran high, a little bit of their own medicine there. Getting the ball down quickly with the pass. Bell Bramer. Played her freshman season at Los Gatos High School down in the South Bay in the Bay Area. Only got to play in 14 games. Led the Wildcats in scoring her sophomore season, then decided to transfer to Archbishop Mitty. Had to sit out her junior campaign. Still was able to get some D1 offers as that shot is short. Has an offer from Portland. Ended up committing to Lehigh. But just a, a player who's made the most of playing for this Monarchs team. Yeah, hard worker, just a high motor, never stops running, never stops playing hard. Nice pass off glass. Abigail James, one of the players who hasn't gotten a ton of time throughout this tournament, but coming in and getting to play critical minutes, you pointed out the bench and the depth going to be key in this second half. The ball too strong. What do you make of, so far, the bench pieces coming in and making an impact? Well, I think James and uh, McCarthy have done a really good job. They don't have to do a whole lot. They just have to maintain, and that's what they've been able to do. And, and that's part of why this game is 56-56. That shot misses everything. McCarthy, a freshman, and James, a sophomore. As you pointed out, the experience of the bench is going to be important, but if those young players can just do enough, they can keep the level. They're still making a major impact. The drive by Velichko. That's an old Opie dope there, acting like you're going to hand it off and then spin it around, going to the basket. I love that play. Velichko is such a fun player to watch. Has a great relationship with Coach Phillips. Has worked with her with USA, USA basketball as well. As Koval puts it up and in. You're looking, you just keep pounding the ball into her and letting her go to work and create, op create opportunities for everybody else. Just with the spacing. McCarthy. Bramer too strong. Bramer runs down the rebound. Shelly makes the extra pass. Squaring up, pulling up, knocking it down is Velichko. She has such a versatile game uh, skill set. 
Off the dribble, straight shot, mid-range, three-pointer. Just an excellent player. And at the Lich Broad, a San Bruno, California, drives 45 minutes each way to attend Archbishop Mitty High School. The ball is fouled fall there. Also, her dad, Aaron, mentioned that he's a coach. You talk about maybe the different way that a coach's child approaches the game. One thing that does stand out about her is how mature she is in her decision making. Is that coming from her dad being maybe a tactically minded dad or coach? Well, I think when you're a coach's kid, you see the impact of um, the relationship that your coach has with a player. And you see what happens when a player does or does not do what the coach is asking them, uh, see what happens when a player, when a coach helps him develop. And so you just have a different perspective because you see both sides of the story. Um, yeah, and I'm sure she probably watches film, you know, watches games because you just have a totally different perspective. You are almost a coach yourself on the floor because you have a different basketball IQ. Lichko couldn't get the roll there. Continues to play tough. Archbishop Mitty with the one-point lead. We just saw some stats as well of senior center Kate Caval, the Notre Dame commit for Long Island Lutheran. Fifth ranked recruit, five stars. The New York Rose Basketball Gatorade Player of the Year. Lichko couldn't get the putback. Swan in transition. Pulls it back out. Speaking of decision-making, Lauren Swan continues to make the right ones. Draws the foul. Good job there pulling it out. She's seen the defense spread. She can get a step on her defender. Really was a big spark for them in that first half, hitting five three-pointers. Not as much offensively here, but still making good decisions here in the second half. Something that Coach Rady mentioned about Lauren Swan's development, and we were talking to her earlier in the game about how she was singing her praises, is that when she joined the team last year, she struggled a little bit in dealing with the expectations, the way that this program is run. For example, didn't understand, hey, why when I'm doing these sprints do I have to physically touch the line? And something that she's really embraced now is just that attention to detail. Coach mentioned how coming into the season it was 180, and now she's completely dialed in, completely bought in, bought in on the defensive side, which is something that took the process. And then also, those little details do make a big difference when it comes down to it, right? Yeah, one of my favorite quotes is from uh, Mike Tomlin from Pittsburgh Steelers. He always says, the standard is a standard, right? And um, there's a certain way that we do things here, and you either buy in and get opportunities, or you don't. And I think she talked about having an honest, honest conversation with, uh, with Lauren Swan about what she was and was not doing. And, you know, the kid took it to heart and came back better. Speak volumes about her character. Big three in response to a Velichko bucket. Long Island Lutheran battling in this back and forth game. It was Silas Swartz who knocked one down. 64-62 this fourth quarter. Going to get interesting. Buckle in, folks. The Geico Holiday Hoops at the Nike Tournament of Champions is brought to you by Geico. It's easy to Geico. I'm about to show you how we make a shakaroni pizza. Bust it. Stretch out that fresh We dough. create a shakaroni my way. More, more, An extra large pizza topped with extra cheese and extra pepperoni. And right now, for a limited time, get free delivery with a minimum purchase. Only at Papa John's. Hi. I'll have the avocado toast minus the avocado. So, toast. Yeah. Everything is so expensive these days. Hey, Chevy gets it. That's why they're keeping prices down to earth, like on the most affordable EV in America. A super strong and capable Chevy truck. And a high-tech Chevy SUV. Why is Chevy making affordable vehicles connected by OnStar? If so together, we can do more. T-Pain, Jay Yang, what do you love about HelloFresh? Oh yeah, HelloFresh makes it easy. And they got endless recipes. No. Go to HelloFresh.com to claim this offer. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting A it- A pretzel bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. To 50 years with my best friend. <gasps> <gasps> Quick, the quicker picker-upper. 
Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge and is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. Fourth quarter action underway. The Nike Tournament of Champions title game coming down to the wire between Long Island Lutheran and Archbishop Mitty, two of the top 10 high school basketball teams in the country. 12 ties, 13 lead changes so far in this matchup. What is this final stretch going to come down to? Well, it's going to come down to defense, obviously. And, and if you notice, that timeout was called by Coach Rady after they made that basket. And you're wondering what adjustments she's going to make or just to make sure they're where they need to be defensively. They're still in the zone, but what are they paying attention to here? It's 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 sort of a matchup zone, so you're pushing that offense of Archbishop Mitty way out past the three-point line. Coach pointing out the defense, a huge component of this Crusaders team. Getting inside, drawing the foul is Chelly. So that's what you have when you have a defense that's pushed way out. You have those little pockets there where you can penetrate. Chelly able to get in and get an opportunity for two free throws. The UConn commit senior guard of, out of Los Altos, California. Naismith Girls Basketball Player of the Year Trophy watch list, 18th ranked five-star recruit in the class of 2024, was named a Max Preps preseason All-American, dealt with a foot injury that forced her to miss quite a bit of time last season, but had a great game in the CIF Open title game. This here comes Swan, pulls it back out. 24.6 rebounds, five assists, four steals for Chelly in that big matchup. I mean, to, tonight, that's a testament to the talent level in this tournament. Duvall. Little miscue. Ball rolls out. Shelly also won a gold medal with USA Basketball in the 2022 FIBA U-17 World Cup, pointing out the international experience translating here. Ball in play on the baseline. Nice pass, but not in time. This Shot clock violation, turnover for the Crusaders. This will not show up on the stat sheet, but the Lizko did a tremendous job of holding off Kate Coleman coming across that lane, not allowing her to get that pass that we're trying to enter, and that contributed to the shot clock violation. Archbishop Mitty with a chance to regain the lead here. Bramer. Wiseman knocks it down. You got to pick and choose what you're going to do, and they over rotated there. Left Wiseman wide open. Nice cross court pass. Mitty now with a two point lead. 2.20 to go. Top of the key. Response from Silo Swartz. There's the experience there. Blow for blow here, late in quarter number four. Crusaders now lead by one. Chelly inside to Bramer. Bramer goes up with it. Too strong. Foul called on the offensive rebound. So the three-pointer here, the nice cross-court pass there by Wiseman, and then the response here by Swartz, the veteran. Lichko squares up. Oh, what a jump shot. That mid-range game of hers, it's underrated. You don't see a whole lot of kids who are proficient at that, but she certainly is. Lichko showing she's a three-level score gives Archbishop Mitty the lead. One and a half to go. Swords responds. Anything you can do, I can do better. That's been the story of this fourth quarter. Crusaders back on top by two. Sophomore out of San Jose, California, calling out the offense. Under a minute to play. Nine on the shot clock. Rattles out. Put back and one opportunity. 
I'm going to give Coach Phillips some kudos here because the players down the line here, they're making these plays are the players that they were able to rest. We were talking about earlier with McCarthy and James coming in and just maintaining. Those are the two players, Bramer and uh, Wiseman, that they uh, got some rest for, and they're producing here down the, at the end of the shot clock, the end of the game. Alana Wiseman now going to the line. The Bucknell commit out of Burlingame, California. The size, perimeter shooting ability. Also gets it done there on the offensive glass. That's Rady choosing not to call a timeout. Let her players play. They're experienced. 13 second differential between the game clock and shot clock. Swords driving. No. Swords right back up with it. And one. Crusaders regain the lead. Literally everything one team does, the other team comes down and the other end does the exact same thing. Gets her own rebound here. Takes the contact and able to score. You said defense was going to be the key down the stretch. One of these teams has to get a stop at some point, right? It's just bucket, 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 At some bucket, point, bucket. yes. Yes, these are some of the most talented offensive players on the court, but also they all have great defensive abilities too, but it's been fun to watch this showing so far. That one rattles out. Put back, not there. Well, she's missed a lot of bunnies here, and that was one of the biggest ones. Shot clock off. Midi down by one. Foul called. Foul called on Silas Swords. 16.4 to go. Timeout called in a critical juncture here in quarter number four. The annual NBA on Christmas Day tradition continues with five star-studded games on ESPN and ABC. Bucks Knicks starts the day at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Then it's Warriors Nuggets, Celtics Lakers, Sixers Heat, and Suns Mavs caps the night. Every year, some of the association's best matchups. Doesn't get much better though than this matchup underway right now between Long Island Lutheran and Archbishop Mitty. The Monarchs and Crusaders just trading baskets at this point in the fourth quarter, but just the most incredible talent on display. Now coming down to the wire. 16.4 to go. Well, if you're if you're Long Island Lutheran on the off chance that Telly misses his free throw, you've got to make sure that you you box out so that they don't get an offensive rebound. And then you only have 16 seconds to go. So you really need to try to score in transition if you can. First or primary, but definitely by a secondary break. You don't have a whole lot of time. Archbishop Mitty in the bonus. Chelly makes the first free throw. Makes the second. Archbishop Mitty leads by one. Timeout immediately called. Lots to discuss here for both teams. 16.4 to go. Both defenses have been struggling to get stops. What's the message at this juncture? Well, if you're Archbishop Mitty, the first thing you're going to do is make sure you know what your assignments are. Make sure you know who you have, what defense you're in, where you're supposed to be. And there's no reason for you to press here unless you want to try to eat up a little bit of the clock. Obviously, you're ahead, but you want to make sure if you're playing player, player defense, you're going to have to switch everything, which is going to create some mismatches. But you want to make sure that you know what your assignments are. If you're Long Island Lutheran, my guess is you want to get something going downhill to at least try to get to the free throw line if you don't get a shot. There's Coach Phillips with a final message to her team, a National Coach of the Year, named by the WBCA, Naismith, Gatorade, in her 31st season with every accolade in the book, trying to lead her team to a victory down to the wire here in the Tournament of Champions final. The shot goes up, Archbishop Mitty's got to box out. Heckle goes to the basket, foul called, on the floor, though. We still have one to give, so not in the bonus point yet. Twelve seconds on the clock.
Tackle over the top to Swords. Swan under pressure. Swan doubled. Battle for the ball. Jump ball. That's unfortunate. You want the ball in the hands of Swords or with Heckle. And so now you have to you have to foul. 5.1 to go. Archbishop Mitty gets the ball. Talked about the need for a defensive stop and big defensive play. Right there, Archbishop Mitty able to force a turnover. Or at least force the jump ball. Now they get it out on the side. Long Island Lutheran never went up to press. Timeout, timeout called by Monarchs head coach Sue Phillips. You definitely want to make sure you get the ball in. You want to have good free throw shooters on the floor as well because you know they're going to foul. Archbishop Mitty, five seconds away from taking the Tournament of Champions title. Last year, they beat Desert Vista 63-49 to fall before falling to Long Island Lutheran 70-48. Finished out the tournament, beating Bishop McNamara 51-40. But this is the opportunity. They get to take one back from Long Island Lutheran if they can inbound this ball and close this one out with a couple of free throws. You throw the ball and you want to throw it towards your basket. You do not want to throw it in and give them an opportunity to get a steal on their end of the court. Throwing it down. Heckle intercepts. Timeout immediately called. Kaylee Heckle fired up, able to tip that ball and get a grasp on it. 2.6 to play. Long Island Lutheran basketball. Well, she definitely threw it to her end, but didn't put enough on it. And smart, quick timeout called. So now you have enough time to... Take a dribble if you need it. If you're Archbishop Mitty, you want to make sure that you don't let anybody get behind you, whether it's running or whether it's Long Island Lutheran setting a back screen. You don't want to get anybody behind you. Archbishop Mitty, the seven turnovers, Long Island Lutheran four. Oh, they put some more time on the clock. It's 3.2 seconds now. It was 2.8. Tenths of a second can make a difference here. 3.2 now to get it in play. <laughs> Tense moments here at Legacy Sports Park. Heckle. Less than one to go, trying to get it off, but they can't do it. Archbishop Mitty is the Nike Tournament of Champions title winners. 73-72, they close out a down-to-the-wire TOC champion matchup against Long Island Lutheran. What a performance. Archbishop Mitty able to close out an absolute battle against Long Island Lutheran. Nike Tournament of Champions title winners. Yeah, got an opportunity, but just a little off balance there. Not able to get what she wanted. Just looked like she slipped there on the floor. The fourth Nike TOC title win for Archbishop Mitty in school history, at least according to Coach Sue Phillips. We talked with her before this game. What does this win mean? What does this win mean to this program? I, for them, just really just, again, I'll go back to what I said about Coach playing those two, the sophomore and the freshman, giving Wiseman, um, giving Bramer time to rest, and they were the ones that came up big down the line. So you won't see anything in the stat sheet about McCarthy or about James, but just masterful coaching, masterful coaching. How about that down to the wire? Archbishop Mitty had to defend that last possession with three seconds to go. They're able to hold off Long Island Lutheran. National finalists a season ago. They won the Nike Tournament of Champions a season ago, but now it's Archbishop Mitty taking the crown. 73-72 the final.
what type of momentum does this provide this group moving forward? Well, they tested themselves against the best, and that's what Coach Phillips wanted, to see where they were, and I think they just did a tremendous job. I thought the depth for Long Island Lutheran was much more experienced, but they got it done. They got it done. For Long Island Lutheran, what positives can you take away? Well, I think the fact that, you know, you they were behind at some point. They kept responding. Every time Archbishop made, made, did something, they kept responding. Just not able to do it there in that last possession. An absolute battle. There's Archbishop Mitty getting to celebrate, putting on the gold medals after an absolutely hard-fought battle here in the title matchup. Archbishop Mitty doing it by committee as well. Saw players coming in off the bench, making an impact. The starters, the blue chip prospects also getting it done. Just an all-around outstanding team performance. Archbishop Mitty takes down Long Island Lutheran 73-72, and they are your Nike Tournament of Champions, Champions. On behalf of our entire ESPN broadcast crew and Helen Williams, I'm Kyla Mills. Thanks for joining us. Have a fantastic night. Welcome to NC State, a school that's ahead of the pack. Wolfpack Nation, baby. With its history. Oh, by Thompson and traditions. The school is located in the capital city of Raleigh, a place of innovation and fun for all ages. Home to James